Hi, my name is Ashley Faulkner. Um, I was born and raised uh, in the heart of the Bronx, the South Bronx, uh, with my mom and my sister. And my mom is actually from South Carolina, so I grew up with a lot of Southern traits and Southern cooking and all the best of the Southern life. Um, I went to Johnson & Wells most recently, and I studied wellness and sustainability, actually, which doesn't have much to do with what I'm doing now, but you know what? It's, it's, it was still fun. Currently, I am now a co-owner of Bucktown in Providence, and it's going great. We do fried chicken, chicken and waffles, greens, the best greens out here. I've been told numerous times, so I think I'm right. <laughs> I think the main person that inspires me and has continued to inspire me is my mom. Um, she's the reason why I cook now and the reason why I want to continue to cook, because she still cooks. She just cooks for a my old preschool now, but uh, it's still something that she loves to do and enjoys doing every day. She um, has taught me how to make sure that even though I'm a woman in the kitchen and there's a lot of men around that are going <laughs> to try and tell me that I need help or I need, um, I need help doing anything else in the kitchen or I can't do something, she's there to let me know that I'm a very strong black woman and I can, I can get it done. She's definitely my number one inspiration. I would like to inspire every little girl from not the best of areas growing up. I lived in Castle Hill Projects and it's not the it wasn't the best of places back then and it still isn't the best of places right now, but I am proud to say that from my mom's guidance, I am not a product of my environment. I'm doing very well and I want all the little girls to know that just because you're living in a not so great area or not the best um, circumstances that you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. I had my uh, portrait photographed here because Bucktown is um, a big part of my success now. I graduated and right after I graduated college I decided to help out and open this restaurant and I can say that it is partly black owned and I want people to people especially young people to see that this is possible and this is not just a fluke and this this should be the norm just to see young young black business owners doing doing good in their communities